answers from as far as the eye can see to as close as the ground you're spinning on. From science and literature to history, math, and beyond. This is Academically. Good evening, folks, and welcome to our 2023 Academic League semifinals. My name is Ebony Weathers, my pronouns are she, her, and I will be your host this evening. We've got two really exciting matches for you tonight. Our first semifinal features Bishop's School facing off against Olympian High School, and our second semifinal match will have Del Norte going up against West Hills. We're going to start by meeting our school's coach from Olympian, uh, Deborah Hake. Can you come on up and join us, please? Thank you so much for being here tonight, Deborah. Thank you. Uh, it says here that you're a 27-year veteran in Sweetwater. You teach 10th grade world history and AP US history. Your son was recently accepted into UC Davis, mm -hmm. and your daughter is a soon-to-be graduate of Olympian. And in all of your free time, you enjoy traveling. Yes. What's your favorite place you've been to? It's hard to tell, but I just got back from Amsterdam, and it's between that and Belgium. Beautiful. I've never been to either, so I'll take your word for it. Yes. Well, if you could introduce your team to us tonight, starting from left to right, please. I would love to. I'm so proud of my team. Um, to start off with, there's Dante. Then there's Dylan. Um, our captain is Martin. And Avery. And least but not least, our senior, Riley. Thank you so much. Uh, it looks like a great group of students. I met and spoke with them a little bit earlier, so I expect great things from your team. We appreciate you being here. You can go ahead and have a seat with the coaches. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, up next, we've got David Banta from Bishop School joining us. David, come on up. Hi. Hello. Thank Hi. you so much for joining us tonight. Well, I'm glad to be here. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing fine. Wonderful. It says here <laughs> that you teach Latin, Greek, and English. Yes, I do. Yeah. You have a PhD from Duke University. Ah. Uh, you were a professor at Hanover College before coming to Bishops, and it also says your son is a part of Academic League. Yeah, my son is. He's one of the reserves. Oh, that's right great. Yeah, that's yeah, great. I couldn't put him in the starting lineup. He's happy to see you here tonight with the team? I hope so. Yeah. That's wonderful. If you could introduce your team to us starting from left to right, please. Well, first of all, we have Maya Krolik, and uh, she's one of our science and tech people and also enjoys sailing and hiking. And, and uh, second, we have Nason Lee. And uh, he's one of our history and geography people. Uh, ordinarily, we would have Will Keefe here, but he wasn't available tonight. So I just wanted that to be on the permanent record. <laughs> that is the match. And uh, it, Nason can also name the closest theme park for any location in America. Give him a location, he'll tell you the closest theme park. Our captain tonight is Casey Leung. And uh, she is our literary specialist, and uh, but she also has great medical skill in that she once administered CPR on a mouse. And, and finally, or fourth, we have Sasha Berger. And uh, Sasha and Jasper, our th fourth and fifth, are our science people. He, but he enjoys hiking and being lost in forests. His record is currently 20 hours and lost. And finally, Jasper Jane who enjoys tennis and skiing, and he's our only hope on sports questions. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great group that you brought tonight. I look forward mm -hmm. to the match. You can go ahead and join the coaches. Thank you. And we will introduce our moderator for tonight, Mark Hines. Uh, Mark is a history teacher and an academic league commissioner for the Metro League, and he is both a San Diego City Teacher of the Year and a San Diego County Teacher of the Year. Mark, let's get this thing started. All right, let's do this. We have 30 minutes to go, and we'll, st we'll start by starting the clock, and then we'll give the first toss-up to either team. All right, first question. Nighttime during this month ends with a sewer meal right away to Olympian. Uh, Ramadan? Correct. For your bonus answer, these <clears throat> about symphonies from Franz Josef Haydn. First, his symphonies number 6, 7, and 8 are nicknamed... La Matoine, La Midi, and La Soie, which mean these things in French. La Midi and La Soie, like the afternoon? I think like, wait, is it asking for a composer? No, 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 what does it mean? Oh, oh, we have answer, afternoon. I'm sorry, morning, noon, and night would be that answer. B, his symphony number 47 has this nickname used for words like race car because one of the two melodies in its minuet and trio movement is the exact reverse of its other melody. Palindrome, right? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. 
uh, we have our answer, uh, palindrome. Correct, good. And last, his symphony number 92 is nicknamed for this British university, where he received a doctor of music degree in 1789. Cambridge, uh, Cambridge Oxford. Oxford. Uh, go to uh, Cambridge. Okay. No, to Oxford. Go to Cambridge. <laughs> oh, we have our <laughs> answer, uh, Cambridge. It was Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> you had it almost. So that'll be 10 on the bonus. And we'll go to the next toss up for either team. The first novel about this character was based on Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, includes a Mr. Darcy, and contains excerpts from this character's diary. And we go to Bishops. Elizabeth Bennett? No, I'm sorry. I'll continue. Uh, the second novel about this character is subtitled, subtitled The Voice of Reason. Name this character a single middle-aged British woman played in three movies by Renee Zellweger, whose third movie ends with her marrying Mr. Darcy, the father of her baby. And we go to the Olympian. Uh, Emma? No, I'm sorry, Bridget Jones would have been there. And we'll go to the next toss-up then for either team. This rule, after dividing the difference between the limits of a functions to the bishop school. Lobby tells. No, I'm sorry. Uh, limits of a function uh, de definite integral by 6 multiplies that difference by the sum of the function's value at each endpoint and 4 times the function's value at the average of the endpoints. Identify this method of approximating definite integrals usually taught near the same time as the trapezoid rule and named for an 18th century British mathematician. And now we go to Olympian. Riemann's son? No, I'm sorry, Simpson's rule would have been that answer, Simpson's rule. Okay, back to the toss-up. This musical key is featured in the first suite by Gustav Holst in Beethoven's Emperor Piano Concerto and in Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture. Identify this major key whose scale and signature include three flats, B flat, A flat, and its namesake, and we go to Olympian. Uh, e flat major. E flat, yes, that's right. <clears throat> we'll continue with your bonus in literature. Between 1970 and 2015, this novel was cited in more AP English literature exams than any other. Identify this Ralph Ellison novel, whose unnamed narrator is a black man whose underground room is lit with electricity stolen from his city's power grid. Invisible, Invisible, Invisible. Nova, Nova, okay. Uh, we have our answer, Invisible Man. Yes, that's right. The narrator gets a job at Liberty Paint, ironically most famous for making this paint color. White. 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 Okay. We have our answer, oh, white. Yep, you got that. Name this group that the narrator sympathizes with until he realizes the group has no actual interest in their st uh, stated aim of helping the black community in New York City's Harlem. The Brotherhood. We have our answer, uh, The Brotherhood. Yes, good, correct. We'll continue with the toss-ups. This muscle has two parts, the soleus and the gastrocnemius. Gast uh, we would go right away to bishops. The calf? Yes, calf muscle. For your bonus, answer these questions about the actress Jennifer Lawrence. She played this sh shapeshifter character in four X-Men movies. Something about <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Jasper. Um, Jasper. Jasper. Uh, Answer, please. Superwoman. Um, her name was Mystique. Okay. In this colorful film, she played the Russian ballerina Dominika Ergorova. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, no, no. Uh, yeah, uh, it was, no. Oh, Red Sparrow. No, sorry, yeah, yeah. We have her answer, Red Sparrow? Correct, yes. She narrated the IMAX documentary, A Beautiful Planet, whose footage was mostly taken in this out-of-world location. In the Russian Space Station? Yeah, ISS, ISS. We have our answer, the ISS? Yes, correct. 20 on the bonus. All right, for either team, this phrase has been used to describe two different U.S. military conflicts. The first that lasted less than two months in 1991, and the second that began in 2003, and is also named for the country where it took place. Give this two-word phrase whose first conflict ended with Kuwait's re-independence Olympian. Go for. Yes, that's right. And for literature, name the Western European home countries of these Nobel laureates in literature. A. Patrick Modiano, who won for The Art of Memory, and which he has uncovered the life world of the Nazi occupation of his native country. Nazi occupation? Poland. Poland. We have an answer. Poland? France would have been that answer. Next. 
Jose Saramago, whose novel The Stone Raft imagines that the Iberian Peninsula has broken off of Europe and is floating in the Atlantic Ocean. Portugal, I think. Portugal, yeah. We have our answer, Portugal. Good, yes. Dario Fo, whose play An Accidental Death of an Anarchist features police inspector Bertuzzo. Bertuzzo. Anything? Anything? Russia? Russia, Ukraine. Uh, I think it's Russia. I don't know. Uh, we have an answer, Russia? Italy would have been that answer. Ten on the bonus, thank you. For either team now, he became an avowed abolitionist shortly before his time in the Massachusetts legislature. The Southern California city, named for this Quaker poet, was later the childhood home of U.S. President Richard Nixon. Name this fireside poet, famed for his works Maud Muller, Barbara Fritz, and Snowbound, His name is John Greenleaf Whittier. Along with Oregon, it is one of the only two United States states containing an area whose 100-year rainfall rate is less than one inch per hour. Natural disasters in this state have included the 1898 Chilkoot Trail avalanche, the 2016 Pavlov volcanic eruption, and the 1964 Good Friday earthquake. Name this state that is the country's 48th largest by population, but number one in land area, Olympian. Alaska. Correct, yes. And for your bonus, we'll answer these questions about aluminum. Before airplanes were developed, aluminum was used in the frames of these objects. The most famous one blew up in New Jersey in 1937. Oh, oh yeah. What? We have our answer, blimp. A blimp, an airship, or a zeppelin would be correct, yes. The spirit, uh, the spire of this skyscraper, finished in 1931, is made of aluminum. Spire. It's like a scraper, so like uh, Chrysler, Chrysler needle or something. Chrysler building? Uh, we have an answer, uh, Chrysler building? Close, Empire State Building. Okay. Lastly, the company's name, along with the word warp, excuse me, wrap, appears on their blue boxes of aluminum foil. Yeah. So like Saran? Saran wrap, yeah, yeah Saran wrap. Okay. We have our answer, Saran. No, oh, that's the plastic. This is the Reynolds. <laughs> Thank you. For either team now, the golden rule often expressed in Christianity is also important in this religion, which is considered by some to be just a philosophy that... To the bishop school. Buddhism? No, I'm sorry. sorry. That emphasizes the, the family and was passed on by its founder, founder's discipline. Uh, its main concepts were written down in books like the Lun Yu or Analects, Identify this religious system main, named for an ancient Chinese philosopher. To Olympian. Confucianism? Yes, there you go. For your bonus, name the U.S. state that contains these national forests. First, Osceola, including Big Gum Swamp Wilderness. Osceola Swamp? Swamp Swamp Wilderness? Florida. Yeah, go Florida. Florida, Louisiana, I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you have an answer of uh, Florida? Good, yes. Nice. Walamut, which is in the Cascade Mountains. Cascade Mountains? Walamut. I did Washington. Is it Washington? Yeah, Washington. Yeah. Uh, we have a ranch in Washington? Right next door, Oregon. Sorry. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And lastly, Finger Lakes between Seneca and Cayuga Lakes. Seneca, so like Michigan, New York. Go to New York. Where did the Seneca fall? Go to New York. York. Oh, we have a ranch in uh, New York? Yes, you got it. New York. There you go. And we'll stop the clock, please, with the timeout. And roll, we say, we want you to be okay. And roll, we say, take care of people for goodness sake. There's a plan for every budget, so don't accept defeat. Now you can get covered in steel. Buy me treats. You take care of your pets. Now it's their turn to take care of you. Visit GetCoveredAmerica.org to learn about your health insurance options. We're back after a brief timeout. We still have 20 minutes left. Our score is Olympian High School 120 and the Bishop's School 15. We'll start the clock again and take the next toss-up for either team. Riders on this attraction at Disneyland and Disney World are said to travel the Irrawaddy, Nile, Congo, and Amazon Rivers by boat. The Bishop School. It's a small world? No, I'm sorry, and I'll continue. They see local animals, including a rhino chasing a safari party up a tree. 
Give the two-word name for this attraction that is also the title of the 2021 Olympian. Uh, Jungle Cruise? Jungle Cruise, that's right. In each of these sentences, give the one-word preposition that goes with the verb being used and fills in the blank. A, the driver blamed the, the pedestrian blank the accident. Caused. Uh, caused, yeah, caused. Okay. I don't know. That makes sense. Not caused, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, we have an answer, caused. No, the, dri the driver blamed the pedestrian for the accident. Uh, okay. Next, the judge sentenced the bank robber blank nine years in prison. Two. Two, yeah. Two? two? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We have our answer, two. Two is right. The last one, I invested 10,000 blank shares <laughs> of Walmart. Hope they don't go down. What? what? Shares? No. I, don't know I invested in, in, in. Yeah, in. Uh, we have our answer, in. In is right, 20 on the bonus. And back to the toss-ups. He was Bill Clinton's Secretary of Housing and Urban Development and Attorney General of his native New York before being elected to his most recent position, partially by defeating actress Cynthia Nixon in a primary election. During that time, this man is also accused of sexually harassing nearly a dozen women. Name this politician who, in August 2021, resigned as to Olympian. Andrew, Andrew Cuomo? That's right, yes, from New York. For your bonus, this will be math, you may need a pencil. The product of x plus 6 and x squared minus 9x plus 13 is x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus c. With that in mind, give the value of a. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. I think it is. Uh, refer to player two. Negative three. Negative three is correct. Please say we have our answer. B. Um. Answer, please. Uh, we have our answer to refer to five. Uh, negative 41. Correct. Good. Negative 41. And C. Wouldn't it just be uh, six. 78? Okay. Time. Uh, we have our answer to refer to five. 78. 78 is right. All three are correct. Perfect. And we'll continue with the toss-ups. The Chinese, Japanese, and Russian languages do not use this type of word in their grammar, leaving English speakers. Olympian, please. Article. Article is right. Oh, yes. In 2021, Canada created a new holiday each August 1st, marking the day in 1834 when slavery was abolished throughout the British Empire. Give the Canadian term for this holiday. Um, Liberty Day. Liberty Day, yeah. yeah. We'll, go with, okay. Okay. we'll go with that. We have our answer Liberty Day. Sounds right. It's Emancipation Day. Uh. <laughs> Escaped slaves who reached Canada on America's Underground Railroad in the 1800s often settled in this province whose capital is Halifax. Nova Scotia? Yeah. Uh, we have our answer in Nova Scotia. Very good. And the last one, during the War of 1812, some 2,000 black American refugees came to the province of New Brunswick, mostly probably stayed, they probably stayed near this capital city. Fredericton? I think it's Fredericton. All right. Oh, uh, we have our answer, Fredericton. That's right. Yes, good for you. All right, back to the toss-ups. You might need a pencil on this one. A three mole sample of an ideal gas at 300 Kelvin is under 1.5 atmospheres of pressure. Calculate the volume of the, of the sample if the ideal gas constant R is equal to 0 0.08. Do we have a time going? Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Okay, time. Uh, that answer is 48 liters. Thank you. We'll go to the next toss up. The process outlined in this article is monitored by the Arch Archivist of the United States. Written because of the Articles of Confederation required. It. And we go to Olympian. Constitution? No, I'm sorry, and I'll continue. Written because the Articles of Confederation required a unanimous vote to change anything, it allowed the 21st Amendment to be ratified by states' conventions and not by state legislatures. Identify this article of the U.S. Constitution created to make amending the Constitution slightly easier. To the Bishop School. Five? Yes, good. Five. Five. Give these terms used in serious trampoline competition. This three-letter word, not mat, 
is the part of the trampoline you jump up and down on. Uh, uh, net, 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 net. We have our answer, net. No, I'm sorry, bed would be that answer. This four-letter word is the distance you move from side to side while jumping. Hopefully you won't break a leg or arm in the process. Uh, like span. Gate or something? Gate, span. Gate. Uh, span. Uh, we have our answer, span. It was cast, cast. Okay. This four-letter word is also used in diving. Both sports use it for a position where your body is bent forward pike. at the hips to 90 degrees while your legs are kept straight up. We have our answer, pike. Pike is correct, good. This toss-up is math. Solve for x if the log base 3 of the quantity x plus 32 equals 4. <coughs> to the Bishop School. 49. Yes, correct. For your bonus, people with an iron deficiency may be told to take iron supplements. This condition created by an iron deficiency is defined by the, Ma the Mayo Clinic as lacking enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissues. We have our answer, anemia. Correct. One common iron supplement pill contains iron 2 sulfate, which has this chemical formula. F-E... F-E-S-O-4. We have our answer, F-E-S-O-4. Yes, nice. good. The pill should be taken with water or with orange juice or another drink high in this vitamin that helps the iron to be absorbed and prevents scurvy. We have our answer, vitamin C. <laughs> Correct, good. The next toss-up for either team, after 25 years of retirement, he has gone back to work somewhat because using a digital tablet instead of a pen, and ink has made his art fun for him again. Name this cartoonist whose one panel strip still features old ladies, ducks, cows, and cavemen, just like his old one panel strip that was called The Far Side. The Bishop School. Gary? You need the last name. Schwartz. No, I'm sorry. Olympian? Olympian. Uh, Swartz? Gary Larson would have been. Oh, good All right, for either team, the South China Sea borders this island on the west, and the strait named for this island separates it from Taiwan, the Bishop School. Japan? No, I'm sorry, I'll continue. Japan captured this island in 1942, and Douglas MacArthur recaptured it in 1945. Name this largest Filipino island that includes half the country's population, including its capital of Manila. To Olympian. Uh, Luzon. Yes, you got it. Your bonus is math. Answer these questions for the parabola y equals x squared plus 7. A, the coordinates of the vertex. Um, so... It'll be 0, 7. Yeah. We have our answer to refer to player 2. 0, 7. Good, yes. B, the value of y when x is negative 3. Uh, 16. 16, yeah, 16. Okay. Oh, we have our answer, 16. Yes, good. And the coordinates of the focus. I don't know what the focus is. Oh, wait, uh, it's like the one where it is. Uh, <laughs> We have our answer out of her player two. Zero, four. No, I'm sorry. It would be zero and 29 over four, or zero and 7.25. We'll continue with the toss ups. As part of this concept, a reference or neutral point is created that completes a circuit and from which voltage, and we go to Olympian. Ground. Yes. Good. For your bonus, give these terms from definitions by the American Psychological Association. A, a waking fantasy or reverie in which wishes, expectations, and other potentialities are played out in our imagination. Dream. Daydream? Daydream? Oh, maybe just dream. Maybe just go dream. I don't know. Is it awake? <coughs> okay, that's it. Okay. You have an answer, daydream? You got it right. This three-term word is a ritual that marks a specific life transition, such as marriage or milestone, such right. as graduation. Yeah. yeah. Right? Is it oh, a yeah, rite of passage okay. or something else? Yes, yes. I was about to say. Okay, okay whatever. Wait, what were you going to say? Ever answer it, rite of passage. Yes, good. It can quickly reverse the effects of opioid overdose and is useful in emergency settings. The trade name is Narcan. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't even know what Narcan is. I don't even want to guess what Narcan is. Oh, we have an answer for the player one. Penicillin? It's called Noxalone, and I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing it right. It's Wendy on the bonus. Thank you. Could I get a timeout? We'll take a timeout for the Bishop School, please. Oh! Checking your fantasy league? Nah, just my 401k statement. Mm.
Nice, where'd you find the money for that? I've just been saving a little every month. <laughs> I can't seem to save anything. Well, what about all this? What about the money you're spending? <laughs> what money? It's gone before I can get my hands on it. I got a pizza for a uh, Todd. Hey, can somebody spot me? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. It's 547. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. We're back after a brief timeout for the Bishop School. Our score is Olympian 275 and the Bishop School 60, and we still have quite a bit of time left with 10 minutes. We'll start the clock and go to the next toss-up for either team. It is the name of the Connecticut house designed by architect Philip Johnson, as well as the last name of the composer of the operas Waiting for the Barbarians and Einstein on the Beach. To Olympian, please. Glass. Glass is correct. For your bonus, name these characters from Shakespeare's play Othello. This would be Othello's wife, unjustly suspected of adultery. We have our answer, Desdemona. Correct, good. This captain, loyal to Othello, becomes Othello's successor in the Venetian military. Someone like Iago? No, no, no Iago is the, the yeah. okay. I don't know any Shakespeare. Just give it to me. Right. Well, we have our answer, defer to a player five. <laughs> Leo. Cassio would be that answer. This wife of the jealous Iago is also Desdemona's maidservant. The sea or something. Or maybe Cassandra. I think Esmeralda. Go to Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Ever answer Esmeralda? Well, it did start with an E. Amelia. <laughs> Thank you, and we'll go back to the toss-ups. As a noun, this verb describes each of 25 official periods of fighting during the Civil War, including those named Valley, Franklin, and we go to Olympian. Death. No, I'm sorry, I'll keep going. Uh, Petersburg and wilderness. As a verb, this word describes all the things a political candidate does to win an election, including fundraising, the bishop school. Campaign. Campaign, yes. Answer these about authors with a street named for them in Surfside, Florida. Hey, this American's short stories include Rappuccini's daughter and young Goodman Brown. Oh, Hawthorne. 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 We have our answer, Hawthorne. Correct. This British aristocrat and poet wrote, Child Harold's Pilgrimage and Don Juan. Uh, Byron. Byron. We have our answer, Byron. Correct. Oh, Thank you. See, 95th Street in Surfside has been named for Isaac Bashevis Singer, a native of Poland who came to the United States and won the Nobel Prize in Literature for his work in this language, a combination of German and Hebrew that gives us words such as glitch, and bagel. We have our answer, Yiddish. Correct, good. And we'll go to the next toss-up. It will see the deaths of the serpent, Jormungand, and the wolf. And we go to Olympian. Ragnarok. Yes. Answer these about fads in the United States that took place in the 1940s for your bonus. A, some people can get this toy made of coiled plastic or metal and go slowly down a staircase by itself. <laughs> We have our answer, Slinky. Slinky. Uh, after wartime restrictions cut the amount of material available for bathing suits, companies introduced this two-piece suit for bikini. Bikini. Okay. Isn't that just what they call it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have our answer, Bikini. Yes. Uh, American GIs claimed this large-nosed man was here by drawing him looking over a wall. Oh, oh, oh it's like, the, it's yeah. like, oh, what's um, his what's name? Oh, 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 yeah, Kilgore was here, Kilgore. yeah, yeah. I'm pretty okay. sure, right? Yeah. It's something like that. Just, that's, I'm, that's, okay. Do you have anything better? No. Okay. Uh, do you have an answer? Kilgore? It was close. Your parents would know this one. Kilroy. Okay. Oh, yeah. ah. This will be a math toss-up. Give the final coordinates of a point that was originally 3, comma, negative 2, was reflected across the x-axis, and was then moved 6 units up and 3 units to the right. Right away to Olympian. Uh, zero, 4. No, I'm sorry. The Bishop School. Zero, 08. No, I'm sorry, I have 6, comma 8 on that. And we'll go to the next toss up. This phrase was first used in a 1964 commencement address to describe the type of world envisioned by the incumbent U.S. president, where no child will go unfed and where no man who wants to work will fail to find it. To the Olympian. Great society. Great society, yes. For literature on your bonus, when he took his own life in 1961, he left his wife the original manuscript of his novel to have and have not, as well as $60,000 in royalties for his last completed work set off the coast of Cuba. Can you name this American author? Set off the coast of Cuba. 
Bruce with Orcs in Cuba. I was thinking O'Neill at first, but... Got our answer, O'Neill. Um, Ernest Hemingway would have been. <laughs> Name that last completed work which features Manolin and Santiago. Uh, old Man in the Sea. Old Man in the Sea. Is it The Old Man in the Sea? Old Man in yeah. the Sea. The Old Man in the Sea. We have our answer, The Old Man in the Sea. Yes. This colorful and continental nonfiction work tells of his month-long safari in Tanzania when he shot both a kudu and a rhino. So, so something yeah, Africa? The snow, no. Oh, the snows of Kilimanjaro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it that? I think. Have our answer, the snows of Kilimanjaro. Actually, it's called the Green Hills of Africa. Oh, okay. yeah. For either team, now this animal is found in the wild only on the lesser islands of Indonesia where it flicks its yellow tongue in and out. Olympian. Moto dragon? Yes. Nice. For your bonus, you'll need a pencil. A jar has $10 in coins, X quarters, Y dimes, and Z nickels. There are 10 more quarters than dimes and 14 more nickels than dimes. Give the number of A quarters. Uh, wait, so which Y was what? Oh, uh, dimes. Okay. Z was. Uh, we have our answer. Defer to clue. Five. Sorry, twenty-seven quarters. How about dimes? How many dimes there? There, twenty-five. Didn't they already say? Oh, we have our answer. Defer to five. Thirty-five. Okay. Seventeen oh, nickels. So fourteen more. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I lost the question. Fourteen more. <laughs> we have our answer. Defer to two. Eleven. Thirty-one. Sorry about that. We'll go to the next toss-up. Virginia, West Virginia, and Alabama are among the places where this man was said to have seen a tunnel builder with a huge capacity for physical labor. Named this 19th century black workman who became a folk hero after his death, which came soon after a contest where he worked faster than a steam-powered machine built to hammer and uh, st hammer steel drills into rocks. Olympian. Casey Jones. No, I'm sorry. Bishops? No, right. Bishops. Bunyan? No, John Henry would have been that answer. And we'll go to the next toss up. You may need a pencil. If a landscaper can mow 100 yards of lawn in 15 minutes, how long will it take him to mow a rectangular lawn 20 yards by 30 yards? The Bishop School? An hour and a half? Yes, 90 minutes. For your bonus, Identify these people whose screen print portraits by Andy Warhol are in the Whitney Museum of American Art. A, this longtime Massachusetts senator ran for president in 1980, 20 years after his brother John was elected president. Uh, Robert, Robert, Robert Kennedy. We have our answer. Robert Kennedy? No, Edward or Ted. In 1915, near the end of his French, this French actress's career, she had a leg amputated but continued to perform on stage while sitting down or half hidden behind a prop. No answer. No. Her name is Sarah Bernhardt. This composer was only 38 when he died in 1937, 13 years after the premiere of his Rhapsody in Blue. Gershwin. 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 We have our answer, Gershwin. Very nice, thank you. Back to the toss-ups. This country was governed by England from 1878 until its 1959 independence, which came four years after attacks by the native group called EOK. A, that tried to unite this country with Greece. When the Greeks tried to take over the country in nine... Cyprus? Bishop School. Cyprus? Yes. For your bonus, complete these phrases describing the endoplasmic reticulum within a cell. A, its function is to produce these for the rest of the cell to function. Protein. 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 Proteins? Yes, yeah. We have our answer, proteins? Yes, good. B, the rough endoplasmic reticulum has on it blank, which are small round organelles whose function is to make those proteins. Which other answer, ribosomes? Yes. The blank endoplasmic reticulum doesn't have those ribosomes on it. We have the answer, smooth. Perfect, good, thank you. And back to the toss-ups, a 2021 book discusses this woman's 152 known paintings, including some 50 self-portraits, and a few near the end of her career that showed her fear of nuclear war for her, and her devotion to the Communist Party. Name this artist whose book reviewer mentions her flowery to the Bishop School. O'Keefe? No, I'm sorry. Her flowery headbands, red lipstick, and traditional Mexican clothing, and a monobrow. Olympian. Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo, yes. <laughs> Name these singers or bands from their hit songs in the summer of 2021. Riley. Kiss me more and need to know. Is that oh, this is yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. No, 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 Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, we have our answer to five. Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Right. 
Take my breath, save your tears. Oh, oh, oh we can. We can, we can, we can yeah, we can do yeah, yeah. it. We can do it. Yeah. Okay. Do we have our answer to refer to a player one? The weekend? The weekend. Deja vu and favorite crime. This is uh, Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah. Olivia yeah. Rodrigo. <laughs> give it, just give it to him. Okay, we have our answer to refer to player five. Olivia Rodrigo. Perfect, all three. For other team now, ions from alkali or alkali earth metals are often created by this substance. In some fuel cells, this substance is located in the membrane between the cathode and the anode to the Olympian. Salt bridge? No, I'm sorry. Name this substance the E in a PEM or PEM fuel cell. <coughs> No answer? The answer is electrolyte. Thank you to both teams. Please shake hands. Very nice match. No, 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 no. All right, that was an exciting face off, a wonderful match. Our winners tonight, uh, the Olympian High School team, with a final score of 375 to 155. Bishop School, you put up a great fight tonight. Olympian just couldn't be beaten. So I'd like to invite Coach Hake up here. And we have uh, an award for you all. Congratulations for being the winners of our first semifinals for this evening. Thank you. Congratulations. Both teams did a great job. Congratulations to both. And we will see you right back here for our second semifinal of the evening right after this. Now you